latest generation Apple iPad includes a great camera for taking detailed photographs. But what about getting those photos you take on the iPad backed up to your computer like you would with any other digital camera? Well, you have a few options. The coolest option is to use Apple's free iCloud service to automatically transfer your photos back to your computer over the internet. Apple calls this particular feature PhotoStream, and it works well once you jump through a few hoops. I'll walk you through the process for both a Mac and a PC. On a Mac, you need to be running OS 10.7 or later and have the latest software versions of iPhoto or Aperture from managing your imported photos. Go into your system preferences from the Apple menu and select iCloud. Log in with your Apple ID if you're not already. This is the same login and password you use for iTunes or the App Store. Make sure PhotoStream is switched on, then close the window. For the next step, I'm going to switch back over to my iPad and make sure that iCloud and PhotoStream are enabled. Go into Settings, iCloud, and make sure PhotoStream is turned on. Next, I'm going back to my computer to launch my photo management software, in this case iPhoto. You'll see an icon here on the left for PhotoStream. Click it, and you'll be prompted to turn PhotoStream on. Assuming that both your iPad and your computer are connected to the internet, you should see photos trickle over from your iPad and onto your computer. And now that this connection has been made, any new photos you take with the iPad will be automatically uploaded to the cloud over Wi-Fi and downloaded back to your home computer for safekeeping. To pull off the same trick on a PC, you'll need to be running Windows Vista or later and a download of Apple's free iCloud control panel software. Install the software and sign in with your Apple ID, enable PhotoStream, and use the options on the right here to set the preferred folder for your iPad photo downloads. Then hit Apply. You should see your iPad photos show up almost immediately as long as the computer is online. Now, if you find that PhotoStream missed some of your photos, or if you want to transfer video, or if you just want another option, you can always break out the iPad's included USB cable and sync the old-fashioned way. When you plug the iPad into your computer, it should work just like plugging in a digital camera and automatically launch your photo management software. On a Mac, that's probably iPhoto. For Windows, it could be any number of things, but you can also just open up the connected iPads folder like in an external drive and copy your images over to any folder you choose. So those are the best strategies for transferring images from an iPad back to your computer. And guess what? It works the same way if you're using iCloud on your iPhone too. For a more in-depth rundown along with links to third-party apps and backup services that may be a better fit for your particular need, head over to howto.cnet.com. And remember, you can also subscribe to my Facebook page for more videos like these, and if you have any tips for future topics, message me on Twitter. For CNET.com, I'm Donald Bell.